It's a pleasure to be here this afternoon. Uh, we are meeting in Nice uh, as the steering committee of SIMPA and today we'll be discussing the research schools for 2020. So schools are always proposed in advance and the schools for 2019 have already been accepted last year. And at this meeting, the steering committee comes together with its various scientific offices and the bureau, and they discuss the projects for the 2020 year. These projects make a huge difference in the developing world. This is to develop mathematics broadly, mathematics, applied mathematics, and its applications in the developing world, in Africa, in parts of South America, and in Asia, parts of Asia. And since 1978, SIMP has been doing a wonderful job helping young mathematicians, both men and women, to enter into these careers. Uh, it is a special organization that's got very many committed people from France who started it. So it came, it began in France and of course Spain has joined as well and uh, Norway and there's some representation from Switzerland. And it has done a, a great job in uh, encouraging the growth of the science in the world. It, we need to represent most areas of mathematics. Uh, we were very pleased that this year there are a number of good projects in applied mathematics as well as in pure mathematics. We want to be sure that we have a good gender balance and we can see an improvement in both men and women, especially the growth in women uh, uh, teachers, lecturers, scientific committee members and organizers. And uh, of course, there are new trends in mathematics, for example, the, the development of data science, big data, and so on. And we also want to play a role in those areas, um, uh, linking into those new parts of mathematics where it's used in the future. So SIMPA has a challenge this year because we, uh, we have a number of very good schools to decide from, but we may be able to approve more. We're thinking we have enough funding to approve a few more than normal. And, uh, well, we're excited about that. There are some of our count members are coming from Asia. Some of them are coming from South America and, of course, from Spain. So, uh, and from Africa. Uh, myself, I come from South Africa, but I'm involved with development in Africa. And so it's been wonderful to see how Simpa has actually made the contribution in these places. Que Simpa a 40 ans aujourd'hui. Et en fait, c'est une idée qui a germé dans la tête de plusieurs mathématiciens français, dont un certain, un, un certain Jean Céa, qui était à l'époque professeur à l'Université de Nice. Il est aujourd'hui retraité. Il est encore assez actif, mais il a plus de 80 ans. Et donc, euh, étant donné qu'il était à Nice, l'idée a été lancée de, de baser ce, cette association Simpa à Nice. Donc c'est pour cette raison que le Simpa est à Nice. Parce que, historiquement, les gens qui ont beaucoup contribué à son lancement étaient de Nice. Voilà. Le Simpa a toujours reçu un soutien très très fort euh, de l'université en termes financiers et en termes humains. Alors d'abord euh, des, des moyens financiers, parce qu'elle met à disposition euh, euh, des moyens financiers en termes d'aide pour euh, le développement de certaines choses, ou la maintenance informatique, ce genre de choses. Elle met également à disposition euh, le poste de directeur, c'est-à-dire que moi je suis directeur du SIMPA, mais je suis totalement déchargé d'enseignement pour cette tâche. Donc c'est l'université de Nice qui couvre cette décharge d'enseignement. Et puis différents, différents euh, acteurs du SIMPA sont issus de l'université, et en particulier du laboratoire Dieudonné. Donc il y a vraiment un investissement très fort de l'université en soutien au SIMPA, que ce soit financier ou que ce soit en termes humains. Ah, pour l'université, je pense que voilà, c'est en termes de rayonnement, c'est assez important, parce que le SIMPA diffuse quand même, développe des activités dans un grand nombre de pays, sur tous les continents, que ce soit en Afrique, en Amérique du Sud, en Amérique centrale, en Asie. Et donc euh, voilà, le SIMPA se fait le relais de l'université de Nice sur tous ces continents. Le SIMPA est connu par de nombreux matheux dans le monde entier, et donc les gens savent que le SIMPA est basé à Nice et que le SIMPA est lié à l'université. Donc je pense qu'en termes de rayonnement, le SIMPA apporte vraiment beaucoup à l'université. Donc c'est vraiment du donnant-donnant entre le SIMPA et l'université. Yeah, the research school is um, it is a school where uh, students and uh, beginning researchers uh, meet uh, to see what what is the research, uh, where is international research going, and and to to get a feeling of, of what is international research. Uh, Uh, to get introduced to the international research community uh, in mathematics and it's uh, our schools are organized uh, in third world countries so um, for 2020 we are organizing uh, 27 schools in uh, Asia in, in Africa Madagascar South America with the 27 schools uh, it is a lot of different topics covered uh, so there are, are uh, themes of number theory periodic numbers uh, pure mathematics geometry uh, all, also there are more applied projects in uh, problems related to environmental change uh, 
and things related to, to control theory and differential equations. It's, it's a wide range of, of different uh, mathematical uh, subjects.